on the western edge of India from the state of Gujarat to the southernmost state of Kerala lies this unique ecosystem called the Western Ghats. The Western Ghats ecosystem is within the range of Sanyadri, also known as the mountain of monsoon. It supports an array of forests from tall evergreen to the scrublands and also lateritic plateaus like the tableland of Panchgani. It is a home to many endemic species of plants and animals including insects. Panchgani is a beautiful hill station nestling in the middle of five hills. It is one of the most popular destinations for tourists from all over the world. Panchgani has derived its name from Panch meaning five and Gani meaning hills. Uh, Tableland is the second largest plateau in Asia. Uh, it is a natural heritage site. Lateritic plateaus are amongst the most threatened habitats of the world. Pachgani Tableland is a home to more than 50 species of birds and butterflies and 150 species of plants including orchids like Habenaria panchganensis. It has got certain interesting geological features which have been studied for many years. For the botanists, it is truly a heaven. Since British period, many species were studied here and six species of plants were first reported from Panjgani. So it is a type locality for them. The entire plateau is a flat, large expanse of rusty red lateritic rock. Rocky plateau habitats are often mistaken for barren lands as they appear lifeless for most part of the year. However, with the advent of the monsoon, the barren tableland sprouts to life. The whole tableland gets covered with grass into which there are woven the loveliest of tiny flowers. Miniature little forests of yellow-red Mickey Mouse flowers give a feeling of heaven. There are vibrant blue patches of utricularia and long slender aerocolons that dance in the wind. The enthusiastic naturalists also hunt for carnivorous flowers of Drosera, the sundew plant which preys on insects. Starry flowers of Murdania, violet flamingia and delicate exicums can also be seen in the carpet of flowers. Bees start buzzing around in search of sweet nectar. The tableland is crowded with tourists throughout the year. The tourists enjoy the natural beauty of the place. They visit different tourist spots such as Pandavansa Paul, Bhimachi Tsul, Sunrise and Sunset Points. 12 to 15 lakh tourists do visit Panchkini every year. We need to promote tourism in Panchkini but eco-tourism. The entire economy of Panchkini depends on tourism. There are two caves, namely Tiger Cave and Kailash Cave, which add to the beauty of the tableland. These caves have a curtain of lush green maiden hair ferns at the entrance and mosses and lichens on the walls. The forest trail from Tiger Cave to Kailash Cave is a paradise for bird watchers. The place also has several activities like horse riding, merry-go-rounds, mini trains, food stalls and a couple of game counters. As tourism became more and more exploitative, the biological well started degrading 
and that is why immediate action was taken around 2000 and this plateau became a natural heritage site. One is also greeted by small, bulky crested larks and delicate little ringed plovers with bright yellow eye ring and white wagtails along the shore of the pond. It is a treat to watch kestrels hovering in the sky in search of prey and wire-tailed swallows. The Ministry of Environment, Forest and Climate Change has constituted a high-level monitoring committee to look into the environmental protection of this pristine eco-sensitive zone of Pajgani and Mahabaleshwar. To protect this unique ecosystem, the species, the flora and fauna, and to balance it with the de development, we need to promote responsible tourism. The monitoring committee conducted scientific studies to understand the flora and fauna and identified measures to restore these degraded areas. One of the challenges before the monitoring committee was to interact with the local people and stakeholders to solve development-related issues and create awareness about this unique ecosystem. A uh, main challenge to protect this uh, table land is that there is a lot, a lot of uh, uh, mankind activity on this table land that disturb the nature, uh, natural uh, status of this uh, table land. In a conservation plan, we plan to uh, create some po pockets and in that pockets we are totally uh, restricting the entry and all this activity. So we can regenerate what it has, uh, it has been before. The local people, realizing the linkage between natural beauty and the livelihood, now have taken keen interest in the protection of the tableland. They have understood its value and the need for conservation. They are willing to show the tourists the unique beauty of various species and make them aware of the ecological significance of this ecosystem. Efforts to ensure responsible tourism, conservation and restoration of habitat will bring back the biodiversity and plants and animals will thrive happily in their homes once again.